hello everybody welcome back to my channel this is Nike and this is cook with Nike I hope everybody is doing well today we are making a tiger milk or tiger nut pudding let's get started for our ingredients we need our tiger nut and this is the brand I'm using or you could use any brand of your choice I also have my half cup of um, long grain rice. Do not use jasmine rice. Um, it's going to overpower your um, tiger nut pudding. So make sure you use just um, long grain um, rice. So in the bowl, I added some water to the tiger nuts. I'm going to wash this, make sure it's clean. And I'm going to soak this overnight. So the reason why you want to soak your tiger nuts overnight is because we're going to be blending this and when it's at this state there's no like there's not a lot of juice in it so we want a lot of juice in it so we want to soak it um so the water um the tiger nut is going to absorb a lot of the water when you soak it overnight so it's best to do unless you're using like the fresh fresh tiger nut but this one wasn't fresh so i had to soak it overnight And we're going to do the same thing to our rice, but before that, we have to wash it, make sure it's clean. Um, and yeah, we're also going to soak that overnight. So yeah, in about 8 hours later, this is how it looks. You see that bubbles? Yeah, because it was about to ferment. But yeah, we're not going to let it ferment. We're just going to use it right away. And also, can you see the difference? See how big the tiger nut looks now? Yeah, because it has absorbed most of the water. And that's exactly how you want it. You're going to get a lot of juice when you blend it after uh, soaking it overnight. And also, this is the rice that we also soaked overnight. And uh, make sure you don't use too much um, rice. Uh, we're not making rice pudding, we're making tiger nut pudding. Um, if you add too much of the rice than the tiger nut, it's going to be like rice pudding. And we're not doing that. We're making tiger nut, so the tiger nut has to be more than the rice. Now, let's blend our tiger nut. Make sure you add enough water to it to make the blending process easier. And this is my rice. I'm also going to blend this. This is my tiger nut, blended tiger nut, and it's thick at this point um, because I want the juice, so I'm adding more water to it to get enough of the juice from it when I sieve it. I'm now using my cheesecloth. Make sure you use a fine strainer because we just want the juice. We don't want any chaff in it, all right? So make sure you use a cheesecloth or any fine um, strainer. Thank you. 
at this point we are done with our juice look at that you could go ahead and just drink this it has a lot of health benefit so yeah you could go ahead and just drink it but since we're making pudding with it we're going to be cooking this and now let's sieve our rice and this is the water we got from our rice in an empty pot we're going to be adding our tiger nut um, juice our tiger nut milk and we're going to be adding our rice water the juice we got from um, the rice and the medium heat we're going to be stirring our tiger nut pudding make sure you keep stirring till you get a thick consistency okay if you leave it without stirring it's going to be lumpy and you don't want that and this is how you want it to look like it's turning to the thick consistency and that looks good I turned my fire to low heat uh, because I'm going to the other part of this recipe and I didn't want it to burn so yeah turn it to low heat it looks good it's almost done it doesn't take long for this thing to be done so yeah just turn it to low heat and now let's do the second part of this recipe so if you know tiger nut pudding you know it has like a, a light brown color and this is because of the caramelized sugar they add to it and that's what we have to do make sure you don't burn it um, you're gonna see how I do my caramelized sugar I don't let it brown it's still gonna have that um, brown color to it but it's not gonna be dark so that's all I do I just melt it um, when I see the color changing to the color that I prefer I just add water to it and that's it and this is the color I'm going for uh, at this point I just add warm water make sure it's warm water and make sure your heat is still um, on that's your fire is still on and yeah that's it I'm done with my caramelized sugar and we're going to be adding this to what I'm going to put in I added a little bit of salt that's about one teaspoon of salt and stir it and that's it our tiger nut pudding is done I'm adding my caramelized sugar to it to the desired color that I want and we are done as easy as ABC but tastes really good this was one of my favorite dessert back home in Ghana but it was expensive it was those kind of dessert that was expensive so I don't buy it often once in a while yeah I'll buy it because it was good it's creamy and I love that about it with tiger nut pudding it tastes really good when it's cooled down um, well that's how I used to have it but you could have it when it's hot if you prefer it that way and yeah I set mine in a bowl let it cool down add some uh, milk to it and it was so yummy you could use any milk of your choice but it tastes really good with evaporated milk and also you could add sugar if you prefer but I don't want any extra sugar just the caramel sugar was good and yeah that's it this ataji milk or tiger nut pudding is creamy and tastes really good I love it I hope you give this recipe a try and I know you will love it Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Until I come your way next time, this is Cook with Naki. Be good to yourself. Be good to everybody. Goes a long way.